Good morning, I'm Dr. Nicholas Jones reporting live with Channel One Nip and Tuck Plastic Surgery News. And this is a new year and going into 2021, we want to go over the top five procedures of last year. Uh, top five surgical procedures of last year at number one, we have liposuction, which also includes Brazilian butt lifts. Uh, we have lots of patients over the year who've decided that they want, wanted their derriere a little bit more plump. And of course, coming in at number two, as popular as always, breast augmentation, whether that's silicone or saline, the choice is up to you. And at number three, we have tummy tucks, also known as abdominoplasties. And shortly behind tummy tucks, we have rhinoplasties, uh, which are nose jobs followed by facelifts. Now, if we jump on over to the non-invasive side or the non-surgical side, uh, at number one, and still at number one and really strong, we have Botox. And then shortly behind Botox, we have fillers. And then, of course, chemical pills. And uh, as always, laser hair removal. So going into 2021, I foresee tummy tucks uh, making a slight jump and liposuction continuing to thrive. Uh, there's lots of patients out there uh, seeking liposuction, especially after COVID, after the pandemic. We've all put on a good 19 pounds. I actually think that's what the 19 stands for in COVID-19, for those 19 pounds that you've gained. Um, and so we're going to continue to see big numbers. And I just foresee in this year of 2021, we cannot forget about our, our, our men. And I think men, uh, male plastic surgery is on the rise uh, with the advent of lipo, con lipo sculpt sculpturing or ab etching. Uh, men too want to get plastic surgery. And so uh, let's look forward to that this year. And so thank you for your time. Again, I am Dr. Nicholas Jones uh, with Nip and Tuck News, and we thank you for tuning in. And I hope that you have a, a great year, a great 2021, and I hope that you're out here being safe, you're wearing your mask, you're social distancing, you're washing your hands, and of course, if you have the opportunity, go and get the vaccine, because I truly believe that if you, I, I just truly believe that the benefits outweigh the risks.